Angela, please come in. I wasn't expecting you so soon. I know I got done with these earlier than I thought. Here you go. Oh. Your daughter's wedding gown. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. I'm so excited. It's uh, stunning, but it's not at all what we discussed. I know. Adriana decided she didn't want sweet, so we threw everything out and we had to start from scratch. Unfortunately, with this new fabric and the wedding being only four weeks away, which makes it a rush job, it's going to be a little more expensive than we thought. Oh, please. It's my daughter's wedding. Money is no object. Oh, my. Hmm. I know. You could feed a small country, right? I'm sure that... Adriana had her reasons for wanting to change the dress. <laughs> Only one. Gigi Marasco. Adriana doesn't trust Gigi, and I don't blame her. And why do you say that? When Adriana was in Paris, I saw Rex and Gigi at Capricorn together. Together? Look, I, I didn't see anything outrageous. I they could have been having a simple conversation about a job, but still. Uh, let me just say this. Adriana has told me all about her concerns about Gigi. Then you know she's suspicious about Gigi's little boy. Whether or not he really is Rex's son. This is making no sense. I mean, if Rex were the father of Gigi's child, why wouldn't she use that to her advantage? That is, assuming that it is Rex that she wants. I tried telling her that, but she swears there's something else going on. Why are we even entertaining this notion? <laughs> Rex and Adriana are getting married in May, and nothing, including Gigi, is going to stand in the way. I'm going to write you a check. <laughs>